okay guys so it's been a while we learned a chord and then studied that chord carefully and then took a look at how it can be applied in various songs that we play at churches or wherever we find ourselves yes so that is the purpose of today's lesson and in today's lesson we'll be in the key of f yeah and this popular progression will be on the five to the one okay it's a five to the one uh, chord progression so it basically sounds like this it's, and it's, it's very jazzy in nature it sounds very jazzy in nature so today we are coming to take a look at f uh, like a chord that is actually picked from jazz into a gospel okay so now let's take a look at the chord itself like i said it's a five to the one so on the five this is what i have uh, the five bass note itself and then the five try to now you know that our five or our su is what c right one two three four five six seven one so our five is the su so we play the five try to or the c try to or the su try to which is what the seven and the four okay or the e and then the b flat yeah or the t flat yeah so it's very easy for you to play the five itself and then add a try to to it right like this yeah if it's very difficult just do this and then the chord I have on my right hand is actually an E major seventh sharp eleventh chord. Okay. Now I, I I I don't know, but I don't really have much time to explain why this is an E major seventh sharp eleventh chord. So just take the chord as it is for now. I have uh, uh, yeah. If you if you visit uh, our playlist and then you go to the music theory section, you will see that. I've broken down all these chords, including altered chords. So this is an altered chord. Yeah, so just visit our playlist. Go to the playlist and then visit the music theory playlist. Yeah, the title is music theory. Under it, I've broken down all forms of uh, chord structures and chord extensions and all that. This is an altered chord known as an E major seventh sharp eleventh chord. Over this one. Now, if we add the C to it, take take a look at this carefully. We have the E. E here, B flat, and then B flat here. So basically, this is the chord. Because these two notes that are forming the triton of the C is found within this chord itself. So the moment I add the C, because my root note is what the C, my root note, which is the five, or my so is the C. This becomes a C so C augmented seven sharp ninth chord. Okay. Yeah, and I remember in altered chords and that. The music to the I, I I specifically broke down these chords and how they are constructed and all that. So this is the chord we are we are playing. But this is how we are playing it. We are not playing this like this. No, we are kind of flipping it backwards. Okay, so and then this really makes the same chord very unique. If you are not careful, you may not even realize that that's the chord I played. You may know this chord, but because of how I did it, you may you may be tempted to ask me, what chord did you play? But meanwhile, you know the chord. It's because of the flair I've added to it. So let's see. It's the same chord, which is what? The E, A flat, F, sorry, E, A flat, B flat, E flat, right? Or the 7, the flat 3, the 4, and the flat 7 again, and the, and the flat 7, okay? So what we have is, what we do is, we will start, we will play the chord with our pinky finger, and then we will just roll the rest uh, downward. So, so slowly it will be like this. Then we come back to, we come back to this E flat. We started from the E flat, or we started from the flat seven, right? So we come back to the flat seven again. So it's um, then we play our flat six to the five. Then we are done. So. So try it very slowly, it's, it's very easy to play. Yeah, that's how I learn. I, I learn it slowly, then I build speed gradually. So so then on the one I have the F major ninth chord. And I believe you all know this major ninth chord. So I have the one, three, five, seven, nine on my left and right hand okay so this is the chord yeah so 
good. So how can we put this? Or how can we apply this in songs? Well, we can pick any song. Let's pick... Uh, this is what we normally classify as a foreign chord. So let's use a foreign song first. Um, let's see, let's see. Yeah, now I remember this song by T.D. Jakes, uh, Lord We Proclaim You Now, was played in the key of F, right? So... We all know that song, right? Yeah, by T.D. Jakes, so... since it was played in the key of F. So let's see. Let's go. We are not learning that song, but I'm tempted to continue because that song, I really love it. Maybe one, maybe one of these is we will do a full tutorial on it. Okay, and another song that we can use is uh... okay. So let's look at another example by Don Moen. Mm -hmm. uh, God is good all the time, right? I believe you know that song too. But uh, this will be a slower version of it, so um, I'm coming to play the melody. I believe you all understand. <laughs> Let's let's come back to our homeland. Let's use a, a, a local song from Ghana or from Nigeria. Let's see. But honestly, I'm just picking songs from my head, so bear with me. And I believe you know the song I'll pick. Well, I want to use the U I N Yami by Neo Kai, right? So. Uh, you get the five there just apply it just apply this movement anytime you go to the five okay down i see I can do 
Уйди. So let's pick uh, a song like Nara by Tim Godfrey. So For this kind of song, I can apply it several times. Uh... imagine somebody singing whilst I play the song. I, I believe you get it, right? So, we have done how many songs? Was it three or four or five songs? A lot of songs that you can actually put this wonderful five, one progression in. And it's not difficult. I, at first, if you hear, because of this, this backward feel, you may think it's something complex, but it's actually this chord that is being played backward. And then you just add the flat six or the Z to it, then you end on your soul, right? Then you end with your the major ninth chord. Okay. So so God richly bless you so much. If you haven't checked out Music Empire, please do so. There there, there are two wonderful courses over there right now. Uh, an intensive Ghanaian worship course and a young concert course and a free course which is a detailed uh, or complete uh, beginner piano breakdown but like i said in the previous video don't let the word beginner fool you there's a lot of things that you will learn from it even as an advanced player sometimes it's very necessary to go back to the basics and that one is free so check out uh, musicempire.com there's a wonderful full detailed course over there about worship and also uh, this Ghanaian high life feel known as yam ponsa and i know that uh, when you when you get a hold of that lesson you will not regret it so guys thank you very much if you haven't subscribed subscribe to this channel and god bless you so much see you in the next lesson